Hey, what is up, guys? And welcome to a brand new series of Resident Evil. Now, this is kind of like a follow-up to Resident Evil 7. Because, I honestly, I love survival horror, and I want to express that. So I figured, you know, why not just, just uh, play a little bit of Resident Evil for everyone? How do you like your games? I like climbing mountains... I like to climb. I like climbing a mountain because it's fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Like going on a good hike, good exercise, but not too strenuous. Like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. There should be a fourth option for me. The TV remote is right across from you, but you're too lazy to pick it up. How about YouTuber mode? Uh, I'm gonna be a girl. I'll be Jill Valentine. Uh, do I want classic or? BSAA. It makes more sense to be Star's Raccoon. Flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City. Oh God, nostalgia is ringing through me right now. Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Figured I'd take a little sip of water while I'm doing this. Recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bum, bum, bum. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. A what? Save for the remaining body of Kevin. No, Kevin! Oh, are you missing an eye? That's nasty. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. But I plan on honestly doing all of the uh, Resident Evils that are on the Xbox One, except for, say, Resident Evil Zero, because fuck that game. It's just not as good as the other ones. Also, as much as I hate to say it, I won't be doing six. Because, honestly, it's good, but it's not a very popular game, and, eh, I'll pass for a while. I mean, depending on how the Resident Evil series goes, because after this it'll be 4, then 5, and then I guess it's done for right there. And not unless if I somehow can record off a of PS1 and just get Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. I kind of miss the old voice acting. It was fucking hilarious. Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? Chris, this way. Wait, why did that dog sound like a monkey when he got shot? It literally sounds like a monkey. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Oh no, Chris. Because he's the best what character is ever. This place? Not quite your ordinary house. 
That's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. In the old game, it was like, but stop it. Find... Don't open that door. What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Uh, gotta love these fake loading screens to bring up the tension. A dining room. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Hold on, guys. I'm going to get used to the controls real quick. All right. So why is that? Leave it. Okay. I got it, guys. Let's go. If you're wondering, one of my buddies played this game and he died on the very first zombie because he didn't know how he forgot he didn't know how to shoot. I haven't played this in a while, so. Oh, cutscene. Oh, bro, are you okay? Bro, fucking use a toothbrush or something. Is you dead? Okay. Ah. All right, Zombles is down. Barry! What is it? Look out, it's a monster! Let me take care of it! Bro, get fucked. Want that gun. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. By the way, in this series, there's going to be a lot less where the fuck do I go like it was in Resident Evil 7 because I know some of the parts kind of dragged on to 7 because I had no idea where to go. And I deliver you guys unedited content, so there's that. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Time to go look for Wesker while Barry just, you know, stands there. Nothing there. Nothing up here. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. 
We could easily get lost. <sighs> Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. I am the master Good. of unlocking. Okay. I think up here is like the. F I think that's the first floor map, if I'm not mistaken. Or it could be something different. I. It's been a while. Yeah, I'll take the map. Why wouldn't you? You guys memorize this? Good. You got the map of the first floor of the mansion. Yay. Oh, here's another cool thing about this. The daggers. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You got it. Uh. Man, this zombie is tall. Okay, bye bye. Nah, I'm gonna finish him. Oh, right. I just executed the zombie. Damn, bruh. Can I open this door? Forgot. It's locked, of course. I need the sword key. Need the helmet key. Oh, apparently that's a pitcher, not a vase. Or a vase, if you will. I think I'm gonna play up to maybe the first item box, which is not that far into the game, if I'm not mistaken. Or we could be here for an hour, I, I don't know. Locked? Of course it is. It wouldn't be a survival horror game without that trope. It's locked. Armor. Good. That's a broken elevator. Good. And this, I don't think, is the way. No, it's not. I need the sword key. Ooh, there's some herbs here. Always good to have a few on you. Or just combine them to make, like, a good medicine. I have three bullets. Oh, there's some ammo. Ooh, ammo, ammo. Let me just do a cheap trick here. Always good to have a full magazine at all times in this game. Because you don't want to be in the corner and then suddenly you have to reload. <laughs> that has killed me in the past. In all Resident Evils.
Yeah, you're wondering how I spotted him? That mirror. He's dead. I can tell because the, the barbecue sauce fell off him. I remember what to do now. So just to tell you guys, uh, the puzzles in this game are a little bit stupid at times. There's one later on that you're gonna- that you guys are just gonna watch me do and you're gonna be like, what, what? How would you ever figure that out? And the truth is, I had to look up a guide for that part because I was so lost on what to do. Okay, so what you could do... You see this arrow? Examine it. And you remove the arrowhead. And now you're probably thinking, what the fuck do I do with an arrowhead? Especially a poor man's emerald, apparently. Well, what you do... Wait for the fake loading screens to all go through. Oh, I'll deal with you later, clock. At least the puzzles aren't as stupid as, say, Silent Hill 2. Because I remember there's actually this uh, one puzzle in Silent Hill 2 where uh, you have to drop a juice box down a laundry chute and able to knock, knock it everything down so you can get a key. And then there's one really insane puzzle in Silent Hill 2, no less, where you have to figure out a combination for multiple locks. And once you figure out that combination, you can actually, um... You actually open up a box that you're trying to open. You're, you're trying to open up a box this whole time, and you have to do multiple combinations, find multiple keys. You open it up, it's got three hairs. So here's where you use the arrowhead. And the three hairs, I'm not even lying about this, are used to attach to a fishing hook in the game. That you get kind of early-ish. And you just attach it to that, drop it down a drain to get a key. Ugh. Yeah, that's the whole puzzle. It's like five combinations, and it's the most annoying thing. But I love Silent Hill, don't get me wrong, it's just that puzzle is fucking retarded. Will you take the Book of Curses? Let me examine this book of curses. Oh, look at that. There's a key. Let's see. What is the what does the book say? Well, ship is fuck hun, cocksucker, motherfucker, tit, far turd, and twat. All right. Yeah, just telling you about a future puzzle that you're gonna have to do, which is basically, you see these heads over here. You gotta attach masks to them. This is the sword key, exactly what I needed. True story, when I was first playing this game, I got stuck here for an hour. Like, I got stuck at the beginning part for an hour trying to figure out what to do. Because this game does not, this game is not friendly when it comes to first timers. Now as you watch like a, a playthrough, and if I was to recommend one, I'd say watch the game grumps. Because honestly, that is probably one of the funniest playthroughs of all time for me. Going down the stairs and going down the stairs. She walks really funny. Oh, there's a weird glitch in the very first Resident Evil game where if you went like this, you could actually move faster across the floor. And I did that once through like the entire game and my friends were just laughing uncontrollably because of how stupid it looks. I use the sword key. You can actually get a shotgun early if you really want to, which I might do because I'm being kind of cheap. Is there is there nothing underneath here? 
I love these older games where you can always tell what can be moved and what can't be. What's honestly amazing about, like, the old Resident Evils, not trying to spoil the magic for anybody here, but how they work is that, uh, Jill is a 3D polygon, for example, and the rest of the area is 2D. It's just like a picture. It's a really, it kind of ruins the magic, but it is admittedly cool technique. That's why if you look at old PS1 games, like say Legend of Dragoon, uh, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, it's, it's meant to, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. It looks, it's like the backgrounds still hold up, but the character models look terrible. Like, honestly, ooh, boob physics. Um, honestly, it's just, it's a nice, it's, I don't know, I just like the old style. Then again, I always think sprites look better than polygons, but that's just me. Yeah, I'll remove the plug. I don't even think this does anything. Hey, Zombles. Oh my god. It's a ginger zombie. Oh, now it's gross. Huh? If you're wondering why I said that. Suddenly it's disgusting. Yeah, I'll take another dagger. Oh, wrong way. Should I... I'm going to. I'm going to get the shotgun early. So that way I can just put it in the storage chest and keep up. Just start adding ammo to it. Because that's what I do for the end game. I just have a crap load of ammo and I just start going through everyone. Ooh. Dagger. I know some of you are probably like, he hasn't saved yet. Well, I don't need to. I'm good at Resident Evil. Yeah, I'll take the shotgun. You fucked up. Well, I fucked up. Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <laughs> I love how the doorknob didn't Grab even fall hand. off. He just wasted ammo, basically. a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. You were almost a Jill sandwich. Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? Um, I just had something I wanted to check. You're a anyway, bad liar. We should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Zombles. You're not dead. Uh. 
There's the barbecue sauce. In the face! Shoot you in the chest. That was loud. Is you dead? Yeah, you're dead. There's a zombie upstairs that just roared. Ooh, ammo. Yeah, I'll take the handgun magazine. Just gonna put that in there. This. Combine all the ink ribbons. Add that. And I'm gonna save. How long have I been doing this for? I'll go a little longer, actually. If you can't tell, <laughs> I already beat the game. Yeah, I mean, why not? I kind of miss playing this game, so. And if you're wondering why I didn't pick up the flask, it's because you don't really... Oh, hey. Because you don't really need it. Until, like, later. Oh, crit headshot, bitches. That's why I aim high sometimes. Huh. I never knew you could do that. So apparently, if you blow a zombie's head off after shoving a dagger into it, it, um, you get the dagger back. Nice. Okay. Arm armor key. Oh. Guess I can't come this way yet. I do need a block of wood, though. Don't ask. You, you'll see. It's really dumb once again. Might as well go through this door. I mean, what could it hurt? Suddenly, Nemesis. Oh, there's the... There's the block of wood. Alright, you guys are Oh, wait, I can't do it yet. I don't have a lighter. Shit. Oh, I need multiple things in this room, actually. Like... Ooh, ammo. Like, that thing right there, the mysterious flute-looking object. I need that. First, I need to get rid of some things in my inventory. Did I already go this way? Yes, I did. Yep. I got a map.
Because, you know, Resident Evil logic. Gotta love it. My friend just texted me. She's like, we're eating at Applebee's. I'm like, you lucky fuck. Now, Jimbo, I'm recording. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, guys. I forgot where that object that I need is. Oh, yeah, it's in here. Okay. It's funny, I just yelled at it knowing that it's not going to pop up on Twitch. Uh, no. Yeah. I know what everybody's thinking. Why would he need a dog whistle? Well, you'll find out. In a very stupid way. Yay, now I can get freely around. Barry. <laughs> Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. See you later. Ciao. <laughs> she sounds so mad. Ciao. Yeah, he's dead. At least he should be. No, he's not dead. <laughs> I just shot him off camera and he's like, huh. Alright, you guys ready for this? Ow. Oh boy. Why am I not shooting? That'd be why. <laughs> the advice I gave you guys, and I don't even follow it. So you know it's good advice. I'll come back for that in a second. I just need to... I just need to get rid of that. Now you pick up this collar, right? Yes, I'll take the collar. Press the switch. You get a coin. And there's nothing unusual, but if you flip it over... It changed the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. Ah... Uh. Resident Evil logic at its finest.
I was smoking that herb, yo. Huh, I got one person watching me. Fascinating. Hello, random person. I am recording at the moment. You can type something. Ow, my ankle. Oh, get fucking curb stomped. Yeah, he has. Gotta love that music. Uh... Well... Yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Alright. Just gonna... Save my progress. God damn it, not now! Alright, and if you like the video, check out my channel at Real Savage Gaming and subscribe. Peace.